what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if this is your first time here my name is Sherelle go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so today I'm gonna be showing y'all how I did a hot oil treatment in my daughter Kyra's hair now Kyra is a lock princess and I usually don't do anything on my kids hair that I haven't tried out on my own hair it's been years since I did a hot oil treatment on myself when I was a loose natural. I did it a few times, but I never did any type of hot oil treatments while I've had locks, and it's been a few years. So, I did try this out on myself prior, and I made like one or two mishaps that I corrected when I did her hair. So, we'll get into that later, but I wanted to go through like a product breakdown and tell you guys the products that I used, um, the concoctions that I mixed, and and some products that I didn't actually use or I skipped over this time that I want to use going forward so let's get into this video so the first thing I did was shampoo Kyra's hair now I know a lot of the girls have been doing like pre poos or co-wash which is something that I used to do when I was a loose natural I haven't done it that much myself since I've had locks however this is a step to help really do like a real pre-wash or pre-shampoo before you really get into it. I didn't do this with her because first of all, I don't have any pre-wash. I had one from Afro Love a little while back. It was like a sample. It was their cleansing cream that was really good. So I'm probably going to opt in for purchasing that again at some point in time. But I didn't do it on her. She doesn't really need a, a pre-wash, at least not right now. Kyra's hair and her scalp are pretty good compared to mine. She's pretty good with holding up her hair. Sometimes it can get a little dry, which is why we're also doing the hot oil treatment. Well, other than that, her scalp is usually really good. It doesn't get flaky. It doesn't get dry. Um, her hair is really healthy. It, it's really thick. So we didn't do a pre-poo this time. I went right in with shampoo. Now, another thing that I didn't do for her that I did do for myself was use a clarifying shampoo. I didn't feel like she necessarily needed a clarifying shampoo this time. And I don't think people need clarifying shampoos all the time. I think it just depends on your hair needs. And she doesn't really need a clarifying shampoo, at least not this particular wash. But I did need one for myself, and I used a very specific one, which was the DHS Sal Shampoo. And that's the one with the salicylic acid. So that's for, like scalp issues um paralysis dandruff those type of things earlier last year i started to have a scalp problem that i hadn't had in a while so i opted in to buy this one now it's a very small bottle the price is a little hmm but i bought it i used it maybe two or three times and it worked pretty good but i really just didn't continue using it and i still had some but this time i used it on myself just because i was having little itchy problems last week and i just felt the need to do it so i did use a clarifying shampoo on myself and that one's very specific i ran out of it so even if i wanted to use it on her i couldn't <laughs> however that one's very specific and that's not one that she needs i am in the market for a clarifying shampoo so if you guys know any good clarifying shampoos drop them down in the comments below i've tried one or two in the past i clearly can't remember what it was so that just tells you what it did for me however if you know any good ones please let me know down in the comment section because i need one so because we didn't use the clarifying shampoo i went right in with tresemme's rich moisture shampoo and I gave her like maybe two or three washes. I think two really good washes. And then we started with the hot oil treatment. So I had to do a little research on this too because I've noticed a lot of the girls have been putting their hot oil treatments on their dry hair. Now don't get me wrong. A lot of the videos that I saw, their hair was amazing, beautiful, flourishing. It's working for them. However, I was not sure because usually when we're dealing with oil, we want the cuticles open, right? So in my research, I found out it was better to make sure that the hair was cleansed and then you can go in with the hot oil treatment. So that's what we did. So for the hot oil treatment, I made my own little concoction. I used avocado oil, black castor oil, coconut oil, nim oil, a little bit of peppermint oil. Peppermint oil for me, like, I don't know what it is. I can't put it directly to my scalp. I get a little reaction and I start itching, um, but I did put a little bit in here. I think I put a little too much, so I might opt out for not putting that in next time. 
However, I also used almond oil, which was the largest amount of oil that I used in this mix. I also heard that black seed oil, grape seed oil, and a little bit of rosemary is actually good too. So I think I'm going to pick those up and add it to my oil later on. Okay, so here's the part where I said I kind of messed up with my hair that I corrected with Kyra's. I was trying to be one of the girls and I literally took the bottle and went straight in on my locks. The moment I did it, I was like, no, this this is not it. <laughs> if y'all hear a sound in the background, by the way, that's my washing machine. Like, I don't know why it, it's been running for like a while, but fairly quiet. Now it's mad loud. But anyways, so I'm immediately like, oh no. This is not supposed to happen like this because the thing is, once that oil gets into the middle of the lock, it has nowhere to go. It's trapped in there. And that's for any product. I have yet to detox my hair and I know a lot of people detox to get rid of all of those oils and product that you're not able to reach when you have locks, but I haven't done a detox at all. So I know if we keep going like this, I'm going to end up having to do quite a bit of detoxing. So what I did with Kyra, I corrected myself. I took the oil and I put it in my hand and I rubbed it together and I rubbed it down her locks. This is just coating the outside and you don't really have to worry about a lot of product getting on the inside of the lock. This just made more sense to me. This just makes so much more sense. So I did it that way and then I went straight to her scalp and her roots with the bottle, which I did, obviously you don't have to put a lot on, just enough to coat the hair and coat the scalp. And I just put a shower cap over her head and I put her under the dryer. I know if you have a steamer, that a steamer is really good for this as well however i don't have one i do want to get one eventually so i just put her under the dryer which still works the same but if you have a steamer you could do this with the steamer as well so i let her stay under the dryer for about 30 minutes before we went back to shampooing and of course i used the same shampoo that i did the first time which was the tresemme and i gave her about two good washes and then we went with conditioner now the conditioner i used was not the tresemme conditioner i actually used a conditioner from rucker roots which was their papaya and mango deep conditioning mask now i also had a sample of this there was enough in this packet for two applications so i had used it before and i absolutely loved it it smells so good the mango and the papaya together ugh. and i know i put it on my amazon wish list to buy but like anything else i forget about it and i never get around to doing it but i'm definitely going to go and pick it up now because i just remembered how great it smells and it really like softened the hair and moisturized it and everything. So I used the last half of it on Kyra. Then we went and did the same thing with the shower cap and we went under the dryer and I left her under there for maybe like another 15 or 20 minutes. And then we just went back to wash everything out. So to finish her off, I used the Suave Lush and Coily Leave-In Conditioner. Now, there's been a few videos where I spoke on the shampoo and the regular conditioner. Not a big fan of it, but I do like this leave-in conditioner. So then I just applied the avocado moisturizing hair mask by Mayel and I rubbed it in really good because it does have not a white cast but when it goes on it's that really really white and you have to kind of like rub it in there and with the locks it's like you know you gotta work it in so I rubbed that in her hair then I went in with this organic hair oil from Moni Sherry and it has jojoba oil sweet almond oil argan oil aloe vera and essential growth oils if you're suffering with any type of hair loss or you're looking for something to really nourish your scalp this is a a good oil to get into i'll leave the link down in my description and it's also a black owned women owned business and we decided not to do any retwist on her hair today usually i wash kyra's hair every two to three weeks she's really good with not having to wash her hair often unlike her brother who's always rolling around the floor and getting lint balls in his hair but she's really good with that so i usually don't have to wash her hair that often and now she's getting a little hang time <laughs> she's getting a little beside herself now but since it's starting to really grow out now i said you know what i think you can go without a retwist so what i did was i had the african pride olive miracle foam setting mousse on her hair and i let her stay on under the dryer for i don't know maybe like 15 20 minutes probably a little bit more than that because she was on her phone but that's pretty much all we did and she was good it came out really good it didn't really take too long it took about maybe two hours for the whole entire process and i think i'm probably gonna do this on the days where i'm not giving her retwist because that would have took a whole nother hour and child i don't got that kind of time okay so a couple takeaways that i have was obviously the first one do not apply the oil directly to your hair and this is if you have locks if you have locks 
that's a no-no. That oil is going to seep in the middle of your lock and you're not going to be able to get it out unless you do a detox. And even with detoxes, whether it's the ACV rinse or whatever, like it's not always going to be able to get everything out. So I would definitely say rub it in your hand and then you can use the bottle straight to your scalp and straight to your root. Another one is I would probably do this on days or wash times when you're not doing a retwist. Not like you can't do a retwist when you do this. It's just going to save you time. And also retwisting your hair does like put a lot of tension onto your hair. And when I do stuff like this, treatments and stuff like that, like I don't want to really do anything to my hair. I don't want to manipulate my hair. I just want it to just be free. So I I would definitely say that is probably the way to go not to say you can't do a retwist obviously you can but a time saver and just letting your hair kind of just do what it does and the last one i would probably opt in for like a spray moisturizer because that's just easier than rubbing like a cream moisturizer first of all using like a cream moisturizer on locks anyway is kind of just uh because really we're kind of trying to take care of the outside of the lock the inside i mean what could you do for that yeah i would definitely go for a hydrating mist or some type of moisturizing mist instead of the cream moisturizer. And that's pretty much it. I'm sorry if y'all heard my washing machine. Now the dryer is on and I'm not the one washing, okay? So it's just like, whatever. But I appreciate y'all for watching this video if you've gotten this far. Um, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And also, don't forget to let me know if you guys know any good clarifying shampoos because I really, really need one and I'm on the market for one. So let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and also turn on your bell notification so that you know when I upload my next video. And I will see y'all in my next one.